Uh, Stuart, hi. Um, the hawk is howling. It's pretty, uh, it's a, well, it makes suspicious, the title. But you also, you all, always have uh, pretty interesting titles. But, well, the hawk is howling, do you, is there an idea behind that? No idea, really. Um, we got the title from an interview we heard with Ray Manzarek, the, the keyboard player in The Doors. He was on the BBC Radio 2 talking about Chicago and it just seemed a really funny term. And what did he say? In what context did he say? He was describing Chicago, comparing it to, um, to Los Angeles and he said, in Chicago the hawk is howling. And we just thought it was pretty funny. Have you ever been there? To Chicago? Yeah, yeah. Um, is the hawk howling there? No, I don't think there's, there's maybe a few pigeons. I don't think there's any hawks at all. <laughs> okay. Because uh, it's also a pretty cool cover. Can, uh, maybe you can hold it for <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, and what happened with the cover was Aidan Moffat, our friend, did the cover and um, he just typed Hawk into eBay and bought the painting for $5. From? Oh. eBay. Yeah, and who, who made it? I don't know. I think it's one of these ones they make in China in a factory. <laughs> okay. So this was just uh, found on, on Google, the, yeah. the cover. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, you make mostly instrumental music, and, mm. um, but the titles are mostly pretty impressive. What, is there any idea behind it? Or nah, it's all just silly things and just things people say or things we see written down that we amuse us somehow. Yeah, no, they don't mean much. It's hard to have too much descriptive meaning with instrumental music. Yeah, yeah, because I was thinking because, um, the titles uh, are pretty interesting, but um, do you have, for you, uh, is this, are the songs about anything? Are there themes or fe <laughs> feelings? Well, that? there's no specific themes, but obviously songs remind you of certain times or remind you of certain situations but they could mean something different to me than to someone else in the band or to the person listening to it so I think it's just best to let it be a personal thing to the person playing or listening to the music as part of the fun as part of the fun okay, I think so yeah it could things could mean something completely different to two, two people yeah, okay, uh, one that uh, I thought was pretty funny. The, sm the sun smells too loud. That's something I, I, say, I think Captain Beefheart would say. Or yeah, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, me and Barry were just... We, we drive together to rehearsal every day and we just talk complete nonsense. And that was just something we said that was pretty funny. Okay, there's this girlfriend. And then another uh, title that... Sounds pretty serious. Scotland Shame. Yeah, we got that. That was like a banner at a football game, a Celtic Rangers game, and it was pointing at the Rangers supporters and it said Scotland Shame. It was just kind of funny. Okay. Again, yeah. Yeah, that, when do you decide which title one track gets? It's just what's in the room uh, at the moment? or We usually collect titles before we finish the record, so when we've when it's finished, we go, oh, well, we'll call that one, that one. And, yeah. okay. So there's really no... Uh, None. Because the music yeah, is, is pretty serious. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's very serious. Yeah, yeah. And then, but why do you uh, give it them funny titles, you know? Well, they're not funny, like, a fart joke funny or something. They're just interesting. They're just things that are interesting. But yeah, but they don't say anything about the music. What could you say about the music? Yeah, I'm not sure. But it was, uh, yeah, it's what I say. Uh, yeah, yeah, Because you're making yeah, there's instrumental it's serious, music. Uh, well, it's serious music with with random, uh, rather than funny, I would say they're random titles. Random. Okay. Yeah.